What do you think of Kennedy? Yeah, I like him. Um, you know, and his campaign manager, Dennis Kucinich, is somebody who whom I've known for a long time, going back to the first campaign I ever covered. He was somebody I always respected as a um, an original thinker, a real intellectual, somebody who read two books a day um, and uh, and really thought about you know the future of this country and what possible solutions um, you know might work, might not work. Yeah, you think he's an impressive character, eh, Kucinich? Kucinich, I do. I've, I've, Kucinich, I've, uh, do you think he'd I, be a good podcast guest? I think he would be. Yes, De- Dennis is is brilliant. Uh, you know, his his politics are controversial, but he's got an incredibly interesting history. He was, you know, mayor of Cleveland at a ridiculously young age. He was homeless when he was a kid. He lived in a in a car with his family. Uh, you know, he won his first elections literally going door to door with no financial backing. And um, and so this is the kind of person who's behind uh, RFK's campaign. I mean, obviously, I don't know uh, Robert F. Kennedy as well. I, I, you know, I did some of his shows years ago. Uh, but I think he recognizes, as Trump did, and as Bernie Sanders also did in 2016 to a, le- um, to a lesser degree, that there was this groundswell of frustration um, building in America toward, I guess you would call it, some sort of mainstream political thought, uh, which was increasingly elitist and indifferent to the fate of ordinary Americans on both the left and the right. Um, Kennedy, uh, I think, is going to succeed just because he's not Joe Biden, just because MSNBC doesn't like him and CNN doesn't like him. Those things are actually advertisements in the current day and age. Uh, Trump understood this very keenly in, in 2016. He embraced it, and that was one of the reasons why he did so well. And Kennedy, I think, also understands this. Unlike Bernie Sanders, who I think in you know, deep within his heart, had a lot of affection for the Democratic Party, didn't want to see um, something bad happen to it. Uh, RFK, I, I think, is running a campaign where he's willing to go to the mattresses with um, you know the people within the Democratic Party structure, and that's going to be very appealing to a lot of voters and a lot of independents as well. 